Are you comfy? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so, if you know any other way, that's great. Sorry, I make my videos kid friendly. You can't comment on them. I should put an email in here so you can contact me directly by email. Because I don't mind ask people asking questions at all. Just I like to make it kid friendly. So I just tie something heavy on the end, toss it up a key. Oh, I got a better one. First chance I get to use this. Oh, and I will do a review of that knife that I wrapped in paracord. I haven't had a chance. So this is a, just something to hold up the other end of the rope. This is an awesome blade. This is a big boy, straight out of Japan. That'll do. It's like a giant pocket knife, only not. That's a bit better. Lessons learned for next time. Make everything better. So, once again, thought it was recording and no, it wasn't. So, um, I said I was going to do a review of this knife, and this knife is excellent. I, uh, if you see the pointed stakes, just a few minutes. Just going at it to make them fit through the little holes. Um, 
I wrapped it in paracord. It's just very nice, very nice chopping chopper. Uh, saved me a lot of time. Um, and yes, I used the big boy to saw those sticks in half. And the, the big boy saw to just saw them in half. But I could have used this as an axe as well. So lessons learned. Make everything better. But like I said, I'm not a professional camper. I don't have a lot of time to do this. And uh, camping got cancelled three times. So tonight's a good time to try this. This is going to be... Apparently it's going down to minus 7 tonight. I'm not sure if I believe that. But it, I know it's going to be cold, it's going to rain, and it's going to snow tomorrow. So this is a good time to try out everything. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll have to crawl in. I'll have to crawl under there, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. All things considered, that tent is really good tent, and the sleeping bag is warm. It uh, went down to zero last night, and I woke up at 11.30, obviously because I have to use the bathroom all night. So I woke up at 11.30, and... Then went back to sleep and woke up at 3.30. So I got a good solid four hours of sleep in there. Um, if you have a little dog, the it, it, my little dog was cold. So I basically turned the cocoon sleeping bag into just a regular blanket and used it like that so that my little dog, Maya, could fit underneath it and stay warm. I brought, I, I gave her my wool coat to, for her to sleep under, but it wasn't warm enough for her, so. Anyways, if you're, you have to be really diehard. If you don't have a little dog, then that cocoon sleeping bag is perfect. Um, yeah, now I'm going to dismantle the whole thing.